and guess what I just got? Another hot rod. 23 Ford T-Bucket Turtleback. Hey, let's go around and uh, take a look at it. Beautiful car. I got it from a guy up there in uh, Lakewood. He really gave me a good uh, deal. His name is Ken. And uh, I love these hot rods. The real hot rods were like in the 20s and 30s. A hot rod is you take an old light car and you put a fast, heavy duty, a lot of horsepower motor in it. That's a hot rod. So uh, it's got a 383 stroke motor, small block, uh, 350 they started out with. Uh, I think it's a, a turbo 400 uh, transmission. It's got a, a Ford. 9-inch rear, nice, beautiful Krager wheels he just bought, and new tires. Beautiful, beautiful car. This is why they call it a turtleback. See the, the trunk over there? It's got wheelie bars, and this thing really needs it. I mean, it flies. This thing weighs like nothing. Nice header system. Twin full barrel carburetors. Tunnel ram. He told me it doesn't overheat, nice radiator, disc brakes in the front, drum brakes in the back, got a tachometer over there, a tall windshield so it doesn't blow my hat off when I'm driving it, and this makes number 43. Yahoo! 43 hot rods. Unbelievable. I'm going to have to extend my uh, Ogie's room here, especially when it hits 50. <laughs> okay, so uh, here let me uh, let me uh, explain something here to you. I was a teenager when I went to high school in the '60s, right? And uh, this is the way the guys used to dress: garrison belts, motorcycle jackets, sunglasses, engineer boots, uh, jeans, white T-shirt. I mean, just the way you've seen it on that movie, Grease, exactly like that. This is the way the women used to, the girls used to dress, teased up hair, sunglasses, uh, hot pants, mini skirts, leather pants, high heels. I mean, back then, I was even afraid of them. They were really tough looking, and uh, I really miss those days. I don't know what the hell happened to the new generation, but everything definitely changed. Okay, so uh, let me uh, name a few things here for the new generation. Okay, this is the new generation hot rod, they think it is, right? They take a Nissan or a Honda and they soup it up, you know, they soup up the uh, snowmobile motor and they come to the hot rod shows, rev it up, uh, race around a little bit, and uh, it's like a, uh, a rice rocket, you know? Definitely not a hot rod. Okay, this here's a uh, 32 Roadster, that's a Roadster. Okay, this here is called a custom car. That's a custom car, Continental kit and stuff. Okay, this here is a drag car. See that? That's a drag car. This here is a tea bucket. See, like the one I was just driving. That's a tea bucket. Okay, this here is a muscle car. See, a late model car, 60s, 70s, 80s, with a big motor in it. Okay, and this here is a classic. This is a classic car. When you restore a, a car like in the uh, 40s, 50s, and 60s, it's a classic car. Okay, this here is a hot rod. That's what a hot rod looks like. See, 32 Ford is the most popular. And this has a, a 392 Hemi motor in it, 671 blower. It looks like a twin uh, Holly carburetors on it, and that's a hot rod. Okay. This here is definitely not a hot rod. I mean, they drive around with the snowmobile motor. They got the uh, the boombox going, you know, bum 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 bum. What kind of music is that? Unbelievable. Okay, so anyway, to me, this here is really a piece of junk. Okay, so uh, we're gonna put that over there like that, right? We're gonna take the sledgehammer. And this is really what it deserves. Okay, you guys got any questions? Good. Have a great day.